Hello again, this is Vildra. I am back, this time with the Daisy Howell, which is, I think, uh, the Renault uh, where I made the most changes. Uh, I actually changed the layout of the interior uh, and moved rooms. And uh, I realized not until I uh, visited the house to take screenshots that this house is uh, uh, inhabited by a single elder and um, I'm hope I'm hoping she's got grandchildren and is happy for the extra bedroom for a teen that I added <laughs> which is a, a room I'm really happy with I have to say but um uh, I decided uh, the area needs a blue house. So this one is blue. And, uh, well, I fixed the roof the same way as the others and uh, changed a bit of the colouring on the porch, the front porch, and uh, put up some spandrels and... Uh, I think I would have changed uh, the colour of the fences as well. She had a window up top on her roof, uh, so I'm trying to find something to replace it with, but um, I wasn't happy with that particular thing. And I think I will find uh, the leftover window under the roof in a bit. This this house is different. When it, I think it's smaller than the others, uh, the actual house, but it also has a huge backyard that isn't really used. So I, I wanted to do something with that. And since I added a room, this this is now a house that can that can have three sims in it. So I felt I could go a little higher in budget. Uh, if you want to move in and use it for, for gameplay, you can have two parents and a child or a teen. And I felt this layout was really badly done. The weird nook with the kitchen. I started with putting in half walls, which I think was a vast improvement, really. I couldn't lower the second one as much because the fridge was there and it would have sort of stick out above the half wall. But I will move the entire kitchen in a bit because when I looked at the bathroom, I saw that this bathroom is unreasonably big considering how little there is in it. So I'm going to move the entire bathroom, make a new room and for the bathroom and then I move the kitchen and I turn that bathroom into a second bedroom instead. And there's really no point in a house where you can't afford to put in that much uh, furniture and clutter to have them so big. You don't really need it. I needed a column uh, where the, the half walls intersected because it didn't look good. And there are no good columns really in base game, sadly. There's, they sort of look like they're in stone or marble and uh, the the simple wooden pillar or column is round. I so miss the, the small square wooden pillar that doesn't stick out underneath the roofs or, or second floors. I thought that was a base game item but sadly it isn't. I've been missing it in every single reno I've done. I think this is the time where I will actually manage to use uh, the lovely uh, teal sofa with a nice texture. But uh, I don't think I managed to match it with anything. So it it's becomes more of an accent. And I think I'm going to go with this greyish brown cafe latte sort of wall colour. Also in this build, I think I've used it several times. I like it a lot. 
and I updated the color of the the counters to make it look a little more less sort of worn out and ugly. I'm really not that fond of these uh, ca these counters, but I think uh, some of the colors look quite okay, actually, better than the uh, the other ones included in in uh, the base game because those wooden ones I don't remember what the, they're called now, but they look so dated, old-fashioned, and well. Uh, as I've said before, I kind of, I kind of tend to like modern builds, but um, oh well. I'm starting to establish a sort of teal theme here, but uh, um, it's more accents than actual team themes. That bookcase uh, looked really weird to me because. To me, that is a toddler bookcase and not something you would put in a in a grown up's living room. I don't know, but I think it will have to go. And I realized that teal and brown, like in the base game bed in every build, is a, actually a really good color combination. I will not keep that in the bedroom, though which had green walls, which doesn't match at all. And life would be misery without uh, the excellent items that were added in a patch. I've used that, uh, that uh, sideboard from Peacemaker so many times, and Hey Harry's uh, kitchen furniture, and the beautiful vase with flowers. So now I'm trying to look into skill building items and uh, uh, I'm not sure I got that many in here. And then I get to the bathroom and look, it's huge. It's a huge bathroom and it's such a waste of space in such a small house. So I decide to make a different bathroom to just move it simply. And then I can also move the kitchen and uh, when I get the fridge in a corner like that, I don't need the high wall. I can just have the low half wall. Because I really like that layout. I was happy with that. It makes it sort of uh, separate, but still open. And uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. And I think I will make uh, the the two bedrooms slightly bigger as well. I'm actually deciding to keep the base game bed, uh, but in a different swatch. I think this 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 might be the best house reno <laughs> I've done uh, because I, I felt I really improved uh, on on the layout and uh, added a lot of value, not only better items or nicer looking items, but also much better use of the space. So I turned, I, I made a bathroom that's half the size uh, of what it was and it also had weird wallpaper. Uh, who would put that in a bathroom? I don't know. You kind of want tiles in a bathroom. Which I put in. I'm so glad these tiles are in the base game because they are my favorites. I've used them. Even the, with all the additions that has come with the packs, I've used them so much. And I like it that they come in a white and in a black uh, because I like to do black bathrooms. And I like to mix them as well and have black floor and white walls or vice versa. 
and those doors, they really lift up the whole look of the place. So now I have two bedrooms and this, I do hope that the woman living here has a grandkid or something that wants to come visit because I, I didn't realize until until I visited to be able to uh, take screenshots that, oh, this is a single elder. But um, I'm really happy with uh, uh, the teen room because I got to use a uh, bunk bed for the first time or actually a loft bed, which makes it possible to make even very small rooms very um, playable and uh, I, I decided to go keep the green theme in this room she had green walls but uh, not so nice minty green and I picked this wallpaper I don't know I, I've always seen this as a kid kids rooms wallpaper but when I did my let's play I did a reno for the Bjergsens in Windenburg and they actually had this wallpaper in a different swatch in the master bedroom. So I guess uh, you can use it like that. And I decided to do that here. Struggling to find a rug to match as usual. I think I will end up with my usual uh, on the spot. Uh, that is a, a lifesaver in many, many builds or renos because it's, it's, uh, it's plain, which makes it very usable and it comes in many swatches. I think I will settle for the grayish beige one here. This other round one is also good, but it um, it became too big when I sized it up. And I think it looked a little too small there. So I think it's back to the on the spot rug. I don't know, maybe I find one of these. This is also a very good rug that I still use despite all the packs items. It's a it's still a really good rug. Classic pattern. I think I went with that, maybe. Yeah. And at first I was tr uh, considering making this a toddler room or a very kid kid's room room. <laughs> but then I realized that, hey, we have bunk beds in base game. Why don't I make a loft bed instead? And I found this funky bedding. I really like this. And it's black and I kind of like black. It's my favorite color. And I could fit a desk underneath, which makes excellent use of space in, in a small room. I'm really happy with how this room turned out. But uh, I was also unsure, can, can a child sleep in this bed or is it for adults or can they sleep in the same beds? And at first I wanted to put in uh, skill building again, it's important, but uh, I realized that, yeah, I think, I think uh, a child can climb up and sleep in a bunk bed or it wouldn't be as usable, but I'm gonna not put that in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna th see this as a teen teen's room, and I hope that the the old lady has a grandkid who wants to come visit, or maybe she wants to sleep in this room herself. Because I think it turned out really nicely. But not so many skill building items in this in this reno, I'm afraid. But there is a bookcase now, uh, since I took out the the toddler one in the living room, and everyone needs a bookcase. 
and I felt well at least there can be some music I'm gonna give uh, the kid a stereo there can be some dancing or listening to radio which should be good I didn't I didn't even try to find a rug here I gave them a PC as well that is really rare I think it's the only one that I've actually put a PC in it's it's the worst one but still it's a computer and I think I'm I'm uh, done with the house here uh, I'm feeling quite happy about it I'm really happy with the kitchen with the half wall and the small bathroom but then there was the huge yard and I felt uh, gotta do something with that now the computer went it was too expensive sorry Ah, oh, there it is. But I wanted some sort of uh, outdoor dining area with a grill. And uh, I wanted to have some sort of a gazebo since there's so much space in the back. And then there's this item, which is an excellent item. Uh, and I used it in a later reno in the, other, in the next neighborhood. But it is expensive. I really couldn't afford it so I had to build something so I thought, thought I'd start it with uh, uh, well a, a deck and uh, columns and maybe use the little fences to build some sort of a top uh, and uh, well I started out that way As we sh will see, I, and I thought I could use spandrels, and I can use uh, that little uh, uh, low fence to make a grid on top. Uh, but then I realized, hey, we have platforms. I've, I don't think I've ever used platforms in a build, uh, except accidentally. So I decided, hey, let's use platforms and let's make it diagonal for added fun and uh, I couldn't afford stairs stairs are expensive so instead I I wanted to use uh, the platforms and sort of build uh, the steps up to it and uh, well it's a bit rough but um, well I want I I did do uh, the extra work to change the direction of the wood on the steps for to make it prettier, uh, which I'm kind of happy with too. And look, that round column is so bulky, but I realized I could rotate the normal square columns, which made me really happy. They still stick out a bit, but I think uh, the trim might hide them a little. Once I find it, I struggled a bit to find it. I thought it was in foundations, but it wasn't, of course. Some spandrels. And then I, I, I'm not sure, because I, I did something like this in when I built on the empty lot. I'm not sure you actually have to add walls. I think you can build a ceiling without adding the walls. I wasn't sure, so I did it uh, the hard way. This is, I think this is the first time ever I've done this. I hope I, uh, I didn't make an extra ceiling up there. I don't think I did. Well, it would. I would have wanted to have a Bougain Villa or some greenery on top of that grid, but I couldn't find it. So I guess the Bougain Villa is not in the base game. It's one of my favorite things to 
used for gazebos and also on the walls of houses. I could I haven't found any ivy either. I could use debug items perhaps. There are good there's good ivy in debug. But I've tried to to not use debug items in this in case because uh, I will I will most likely download these houses uh, in my gameplay world and uh, I don't want to risk items going missing so um, I'm trying to keep it simple just move objects and uh, and uh, in-game items well there it is uh, it's not much, but it fills out the space and uh, considering uh, it's not too bad. I decided to put hedges on, I remember now, because uh, I felt it needed to be a bit more, add some privacy and some protection from the wind. Because this lot is surrounded by public space. And maybe don't want a passersby to watch you while you're sitting there grilling. I think I would change the foundation of the house and uh, put the same on the on the gazebo in a bit. And I saw, uh, I think it was uh, when I uh, put in the screenshots that I missed a spot behind the bin with the when I changed the foundation. I apologize for this and if you download it you'll have to fix it but uh, I'm really happy with this I'm really happy with uh, improving the floor plan uh, floor plans isn't really my strong suit but I really felt I improved the use of space in this in this Renault I also think the yard became, I mean, it became useful now with the grill and the, the outdoors dining area. I think I will go with that one, the lattice one. See, I missed, I missed behind the bin there. I apologize for this oversight. I think there will be screenshots now in a minute. I will upload it to my library first. I've put this on the gallery and I will put the link in the description in case you want to download it or uh, one of the other houses. My origin ID is Vildra uh, and uh, uh, I've, I've seen these uh, Renaults have been downloaded almost immediately by a few people uh, leaving nice comments and I'm extremely happy about that. It feels very gratifying that someone would want to use what I make. I would certainly uh, move them into my own game. And here are the screenshots. Finally, the good sofa. <laughs> and I'm so happy with this kitchen. I think it turned out really sweet and a perfectly functioning bathroom. I hope, since I didn't join the household, I couldn't play test it, but it should be safe. And I really love this room. I think it's awesome. <laughs> and the elder immediately went in there and talked to herself. I don't know what she said. But uh, this is how it looks. Thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next one, which is the house next door. Bye!